Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to add shutdown with options or restart with options to your right-click context menu. They are registry files. You can see I have them here. Add shutdown, remove shutdown, add restart, remove restart. Typically, you should back up your registry. This is a pretty safe one, but if you're not comfortable with the registry, please do back it up because there's multiple registry changes in here. Let's take a look. Let's start with the shutdown. So we'll, you'll download the files, which by the way, check the video description, add shutdown with options context menu, add restart options context menu. And you can click either one of those or do them both. And we'll show you how they're gonna look just so you can see. Let's do shutdown. Double click it, you get the user account control warning. Click yes. Click yes when the registry editor warns you that the end of the world is coming. And click okay a final time. Once you've done that, go ahead and right click on your desktop. And as you can see, I named it power only as I said, did I say it before? Maybe I didn't. When you hit start, you're used to going to power. So I named it power instead of shutdown. So power, and you see you have multiple options here to shut down, including for those with touch screen slide to shut down. Cool. Let's add restart. Same thing. Yes. Yes. Okay. Right click. And there's your restart. And there are your new settings. So kind of handy for somebody who restarts, shuts down frequently, and has a reason to use it. I know you guys love these context menu things. I do too. Now let's show you just how simple it is to change your mind. Let's do it in the same order by removing. Just so you see that it works. Yes, yes, yeah. Right click. That shutdown should be gone or power. As you can see, now we're back to restart only. Remove restart. And they're gone. There you go. Pretty simple to do. People seem to like them. Check them out. Very little damage you can do to your PC with this, mostly because the, let me show you real quick, the changes to come back to the default key are not a huge thing. So let me find it here. Where am I on the desktop? Remove. So remove. As you can see, this is it. It's one key. However, the changes are kind of large. So what was that? Remove, restart. So let's go to, real quick, add restart. As you can see, we have numerous changes to get each one of those settings to show up. However, once you make these changes and you go back, it actually takes everything out of this registry key and turns it back into that one line you saw, which is your default setting. So kind of tough to have too many problems with it. But once again, back up your registry if you're not comfortable. Thanks for watching. As always, don't forget down here in the bottom right corner, the logo. If you click on that, you'll subscribe. We appreciate that. Thanks for watching. As always, see ya.